Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hungry House Husband Show. And today we are making three cheese and sausage lasagna roll-ups. These are the big thing on Pinterest right now, so far as recipes go. Uh, and so I thought we like lasagna, we like sausage, and we like cheese, so why not give it a shot? So to get started with these, what we're going to need are 12 lasagna noodles, a jar of your favorite pasta sauce, one pound of Italian sausage casings removed, one onion finely chopped, three cloves of minced garlic, red pepper flake to taste, two cups ricotta, two cups mozzarella, plus another cup for the topping, one a quarter cups of Parmesan cheese, one half cup of chopped parsley, two eggs, salt and pepper to taste, and basil for a garnish. So the first thing we want to do is add our Italian sausage to a skillet uh, over a medium high heat and just to give it a nice browning we want to make sure there's no pink left in it and that we chop it as fine as we possibly can. And at this point we'll add our onions directly into the meat and saute those until they become translucent. Now to give it a little spice, we're going to go ahead and add our garlic and saute that for about 30 seconds. You don't want it to burn uh, just enough to get it aromatic. And then we will add in our crushed red pepper flake I went about two teaspoons, maybe three teaspoons. Uh, I could go hotter, but my wife isn't too hot on the spicy stuff, so I try to kick it back a little bit. And once those are mixed in, go ahead and take it off the stove so you don't end up pepper spraying yourself. At this point in a large bowl, we take our ricotta, and add to it the mozzarella. I used an Italian cheese blend. Parmesan. And our two eggs. Along with the parsley. And mix that all together until you come up with a nice paste consistency. Now taking our al dente lasagna noodle, we want to smear the cheese onto it. Be very careful that you do not rip the noodle, otherwise it will not roll correctly for you. Then we will add the meat mixture. Uh, neatness doesn't necessarily count, but it does help a bit. It is going to start to try to squish out the sides as you roll it up. So kind of rolling it like a sleeping bag. Uh, just start at the bottom and start flipping it over. Now taking your baking dish uh, with a little bit of the pasta sauce in the bottom, transfer it with a spatula on over and lay it seam side down. Here are the three that I did uh, covered in a little bit of the pasta sauce. I cut this recipe into quarters because there aren't that many of us here to eat it. Uh, cover it with a little bit of the cheese and then cover it in foil to keep the cheese and noodles from burning. And we'll place this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Uh, once that 30 minutes is up, remove the foil and stick it under the broiler for another five or so just in, to get the mozzarella and everything nice and crispy on top. And there you have it, uh, three cheese, sausage, lasagna roll up. To be honest, the taste was exactly that of a normal pan lasagna. Uh, and the traditional is way easier to make, though this is something uh, that definitely impressed us just so far as the looks and everything of it. It was easy to make, but not as easy as a traditional lasagna. 
As always, like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And until next time, may your life and your food always have flavor. Bye-bye.